Ben Affleck may have once regretted his divorce from Jennifer Garner, but just as he's found happiness once again with Jennifer Lopez, Garner has also been in a wonderful place after finding love with John Miller. While the actress and John have had their on-again, off-again moments, it seems like the pair are in it for the long run. Let's take a look back at Garner and Miller's love story and how they got to where they are today. It's not very clear how Jennifer Garner and John Miller first met. However, we do know that they were officially confirmed as a couple around October 2018. According to an insider close to the couple, they had already been seeing each other for about six months by then. The insider shared, Jen brings out the best in John, and he is the happiest he has probably ever been. It's a loving, healthy relationship. He's really, 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 he's, yeah, he's sweet. Both John and Jennifer also had one thing in common. They were recently divorced. Garner's divorce from her ex-husband, Ben Affleck, was finalized in 2018, after 13 years of marriage. The former couple also shared three children together. John had been previously married to Caroline Campbell. He and Caroline welcomed two children together, but it seems the pair weren't able to make their marriage work. However, it's not to say that they didn't try. John and Caroline first split in June 2011, but later got back together eight months later. Unfortunately, things didn't work out between the two, and they filed for divorce two years later. To make things even worse, the divorce proceedings ended up taking almost four years to complete. In fact, John was still legally married to Caroline when he first started dating Jennifer. Thankfully, his divorce was finalized in 2018, around the same time that he and Garner were confirmed to be a couple. Another insider shared, John and Jen are in similar places in their lives and can relate to raising kids after a divorce. They also noted that the new couple was making sure that their respective kids were still going to be coming first throughout the whole process. The insider added, they're on the same page and understand where things stand. As John and Jen spent more time together, the relationship blossomed into something beautiful. The couple preferred to keep their romance out of the spotlight as much as possible, but their close friends were happy to share some intimate details with the public. According to a close friend of the couple, Miller and Garner are in love. They shared, they're stronger than ever. They are very much in love. Jen admires John because he is just normal. Another friend explained that Jennifer loves that he's not in the entertainment industry and is just a simple guy. For those of you who don't know, Miller is a businessman who works as the CEO of Kelly Burger and its parent company, Citigroup. From 2004 to 2010, he also worked at Arrowhead Pharmaceuticals as the VP of Intellectual Property, and he is also an attorney. So while he's a successful businessman and he has some decent schmoozing skills, his life doesn't revolve around the world of Hollywood. In 2019, one of Jennifer's former Alias co-stars, Victor Garber, shared that he approved of her relationship with John. Victor and Jennifer had grown close during their time on Alias that aired between 2001 to 2006. So close, in fact, that the actor had even officiated her wedding to Ben Affleck in 2005. She's doing really well. She's, uh, her children are great and uh, she's uh, working and she's uh, extraordinary. When Victor was asked what he thought about Jen's new relationship, he shared, I think he's adorable. What's wonderful is they're taking their time and they're just enjoying each other's company. Her priority is her children, that's it. She's focused on that, she's remarkable. He also described Garner and Miller as a perfect match, adding, Jen is great, she's doing really well, she's really happy. It's not unknown that Ben struggled with sobriety during his marriage to Garner. His journey to sobriety was a difficult one and despite their divorce, Jen continued to support the father of her children so that he could maintain a healthy relationship with them. Ben, I'm so impressed by uh, her and everything she does and she's a great mom. And While some would think that having a close relationship with an ex would bring up some feelings of insecurity or resentment, that wasn't the case for Miller. A friend of the couple shared, Jen has been thankful for John's stable love and support during issues she has faced with Ben's sobriety. He isn't jealous and understands Jen's commitment to helping Ben. Interestingly enough, John also turned out to be a good influence on Ben too. In fact, another friend reported, Jen having a boyfriend has been the best thing to happen to Ben and Jen in a long time. Ben has no problem with John. John's daughters have had playdates with Jen and Ben's kids. Ben totally trusts him. As John and Jen grew closer, she realized that he was the complete opposite of Ben and she felt like she's finally found a true partner. During Ben's relapse around October 2019, Miller was Garner's rock throughout the entire ordeal. 
While Jennifer had to look after her children and help her ex-husband recover from his relapse, John was the one person she felt like she could rely on. After dating for more than a year, questions about marriage between Miller and Garner started to come up. However, the couple was still taking it slow and making sure they were taking their time with the relationship. A friend shared, Jen seems extremely content and blissfully happy. John very much wants to marry her, but he knows she can't be rushed. Unfortunately, by August of the following year, it was confirmed that John and Jennifer had parted ways after two years together. An insider reported that Miller was ready for marriage and she just couldn't commit. They parted on very amicable terms. Perhaps there was too much on Jen's plate at the time for her to consider another marriage. Looking back on that, I really feel the stress of it. I really, it may, I could cry. Having to support Ben through his sobriety, as well as take care of her children, she didn't feel like she was in the right place to get married. However, less than one year after the couple parted ways, it was confirmed in May 2021 that John and Jennifer were going to give their romance another chance. This time, they were even going to bring their kids into their relationship too. Before, they had been trying to protect their respective children from being too overwhelmed by a new relationship, especially so soon after their parents' divorce. A friend shared, They are spending a lot more time together. They have been keeping their kids separate from their relationship for a long time, but now plan to incorporate their kids more. A few months later, it was reported that there might even be an engagement between John and Jennifer coming in the near future. The insider revealed, Jen and John are serious. They are totally set on a long-term future together. They've taken their time to get this committed. They added that it was hard to remember Jen being this happy, and she definitely feels safe and secure with John, who's unlike anyone else she's ever dated. Being with someone as down to earth and calm as John is exactly what Jen needed in a partner. For Ghana's 50th birthday, she celebrated the special day with a food drive alongside Miller and all of their kids. His parents had even been invited to join in on the day with his brother and his sister-in-law. While it was a casual and easy get-together, it showed that Jen wanted to be around those she loved most on the occasion. Jen and John have continued to keep their relationship private and do their best to stay out of the media. But it seems that after they got back together, they made sure to spend more time together and their bond grew stronger. A close friend revealed that the couple prefers to keep their time together as intimate as possible so that they're able to really connect with one another without having to be bothered by the outside world. They explained, They meet at each other's houses, even for a quick glass of wine or for a low-key dinner date night away from prying eyes, adding that Jennifer loves how little he cares for the limelight or the whole Hollywood scenester stuff. The insider also shared that Garner and Miller's relationship is very different from Ben and JLo's relationship in that way. You'll never see them hammered up for the cameras or fixate about what events to attend together. It's just not their style. Their attempts to stay out of the spotlight make it pretty clear that both Jen and John are happier being a regular, under-the-radar couple that don't need the public's validation to know they're meant to be together. That's not to say that couples that share their relationship with the public are doing anything wrong. Some people simply prefer to keep their lives private, and there's nothing wrong with that either. As for the plans for an engagement, in a 2021 interview, Jennifer shared that she wasn't looking to rush into getting remarried and wanted to spend more time getting to work on herself. She explained, I don't know, I'm so far from it, and I don't know that marriage would need to be a part. I mean, I definitely don't think that I'll be single forever, but this is not the time. I don't need to complicate it. I'm good. However, she did admit that she definitely wasn't looking to have more children. She shared, yes, the shop is closed, there are no babies. So while a marriage might not be in the near future, Jennifer and John are definitely happier than ever. They're enjoying their time together as a family in their bubble away from Hollywood's prying eyes. Following Ben's marriage to JLo at the beginning of 2022, it's been wonderful to see that Garner has also found a love of her own with someone that makes her truly happy.